our linear mechanical force transformers. And I think the most common one is the lever. There are different kinds of levers. The simplest is if I've got an object and I put it on a fulcrum right there, and I'm trying to lift some force, that'll be my output force, usually a weight, and I'll push down. That'll be my input force. And here's my input distance. And here's my output distance. Much bigger input distance, much smaller output distance, but I can raise a bigger force with a smaller input force. And the other trade-off is I'm going to just raise this a little bit and I'm going to have to push down a long ways. So I'll have to go through more distance, but with less force. Now rotational, and there are three different types of levers. You could read about those. Rotational mechanical force transformers. So rotational mechanical force transformers. By the way, for this, the ideal mechanical advantage, I'll call it IMA, is equal to the distance in over the distance out. Right? And you can measure that. You just measure the distance. You don't have to run it. But if you run it, you can get the actual. The actual mechanical advantage would be equal to the output force Oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. The output force over the input force should be greater than 1. The efficiency, see how this works. The efficiency of a system is the uh, actual mechanical advantage, which is always less than the ideal, divided by the ideal mechanical advantage, or times 100% if you wish. But let's put in these numbers. The AMA is F out over F in. The IMA on the bottom is D in over D out. So D in would be on the bottom. D out would be on the top. If, since it's D in over D out on the bottom, it flips. And look what I got. F out times D out. I got work out over F in times D in, work in. I wind up with the same rules or the same formula for efficiency we've had before. If we're measuring it over time, it would be power out over power in. So it's the same kind of measurement.